Hey everyone, welcome back to a video. If you have followed me along for, I don't know, a while, you will know that I was super passionate and interested in Instagram TV and just wanted to talk about sustainable living and sustainable makeup and fashion and all the stuff that I truly, truly, truly love. But it wasn't really kind to me. Um, Instagram TV gave me such a hard time with uploading and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully I am back and today I am back with a Stormy Brie inspired makeup routine. I'm super excited about it. I love Stormy Brie. If you don't know her, look her up right now. She has a beautiful voice, a beautiful singing voice. She's such a beautiful mother and a beautiful woman. And I love to just see her, you know, her life and what she does on social media. It's just very simple, dewy, retro, summer kind of looking type thing. And there are such amazing tricks and just like little hacks that make your face just like make your eyes more noticeable and your lips more noticeable so yeah after moisturizer and everything is on i'm going to put on this glam glow glow starter Dormy always has just such like beautiful natural dewy glow but she doesn't put on any highlighter which i thought was really cool so it's like this that on my cheeks, my nose, and my forehead. It's a nice day outside. Not that I'll be going outside because quarantine. Then I'm going to go in with this um, Tarte Multitasking Foundation. This is one of my favorite like high-end foundations. Um, it could because this has sunscreen in it, which is super, super important. On every day, every day you should be wearing sunscreen. Keep in mind, I am going off of a video that she did with Rosie Huntington Whiteley that's on Rose Ink. Um, and she kind of went through like her makeup and all that kind of stuff. Just put some under my eyes. I like this because it's just so seamless. I do notice though, because I only put it on certain spots on my face that I don't do all over my face. Um, last summer, I noticed that I was tanner in places that I hadn't put this on. This is such a perfect summer. Um, like if you're going out or going for lunch or something, you just want like something natural, so beautiful. Um, I think it's perfect for spring and summer on my eyelids because I got major veins popping. So interesting, and I never used to have them there either. Like, I mean, obviously, I'm sure that there were veins there, but I never saw them like I do now. So it's very interesting. So, what I'm gonna do is this is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette. I've had this for probably four years. Like, I, I'm not even joking. Um, this is such a good investment, it lasts a long time. I'm gonna take this just on my finger, a little indent here. One trick that I've learned from makeup artists is to not start back here and then go later if you don't give it an end in the beginning, kind of. So I'm not going like this. I'm just, oh, oh my gosh. Oops. And then I'm gonna go up and do some my temples a little bit. So Stormy says that she puts the same product she uses for contour on her eyelids. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna take the same um, cream contour. Not so close to the camera. The next step, which is such a game changer, you're gonna do is whatever product, again, that you use for contour and that you put up here, you're going to underline your eyes with that product. Then just very thin brush. I'm gonna dip it in. It's gonna lightly start um, on the inner eye. You can already see a difference. I wonder, like, what is the science behind, like, opening your mouth when you do, like, mascara or under eye stuff? Like, what is that? It's like it's just like a natural reflex. Like, we talk about, like, babies when they're born, like, their natural reflexes are to, like, grab shit and, like, all this stuff, but, like, dude, like, Opening the mouth, like when it, like what is that? What is that gonna do? You know? I don't know. I don't know. Someone tell me. I would love to know. 
Find yourself an eyeshadow brush. You're gonna use this Tarte bronzer. Just kind of put that in the crease on the lid a little bit. Okay. I suck at eyeliner. I've always sucked at eyeliner. Like stage makeup for ballet, like I could never do my eyeliner. And that's just something that like, if you're close to me, you kind of know that. And I don't know why, I'm just very open about how much I suck at doing eyeliner. Because I'm not good at it, I like to use um, a brown, a brown eyeliner. And so, confession again, this is actually an eyebrow pencil, but I've been really liking the color. Um, it just gives a little dimension, but it's not too sharp. So, you do you, whatever you want to do. Stormy does a beautiful um, black liner, and she just does a small wing, and it's just it's so gorgeous and i feel like eyeliner kind of takes time because you have to kind of know you know the shape of your eyes and how to accent it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do tiny little wings these are my tiny tiny little wings i kind of just started right here just did a little shadowing and then went down this is my favorite mascara in the whole entire universe. This is Glossier's Lash Slick. It comes off in little strips. It like doesn't make a mess on your face. What I like to do is I personally like to just draw it out, but I'm gonna try to do these a little more fuller because Stormies are just like so magical, so full. I'm gonna do a little bit on the bottom to kind of accent the bottom. One thing about me is that I cannot Put mascara on with my right hand on my left eye. Like I have to. I'm going to use this. Another stormy trick. She spoolies her eyebrows backwards. If you've ever seen her eyebrows and they're just flawless and feathery and just so stunning. This is the trick, everyone. You kind of just fill them in like you normally do. At the front take the spoolie and starting at that corner this corner right here just brush up oh my gosh it just is, makes the biggest difference like do you see that it's so beautiful um so i'm just gonna brush up oh, some of my eyelashes eyebrows eyebrows some of my eyebrows didn't really like that you know what guys Next up, I'm going to use the color. Um, it's a Too Faced in Spice Spice Baby. I love this. It's like my favorite cheek and lip color. So I'm just gonna dab a little bit, spread her out a little bit. If I was going for like a lighter look or a more red color, if you know me dearly, you know that I carry this around with me all the time. I literally have three that I'm using at once right now. Um, one to keep in my jacket pocket, one to keep at home, and one to keep in my purse. Like I use this all the time. But it's the Glossier Cherry Bomb.com. I use this on my cheeks and on my lips. I am obsessed with Glossier. I like makeup artists in New York really, really got me onto Glossier. I honestly have no idea what it was before um, they started using it, and I just I love it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the blush on my nose. Find yourself a very thin brush. This is a Lord and Berry lip color. What I'm gonna do is it's kind of messed up, so I'm gonna take a brush to do this, but I'm using this as a lip liner. So, what you're gonna do is outline your lips like normal. So I'm gonna start at the top, my cupid's bow. Well, I think I love the cupid's bow. So I'm just gonna bring it out a little bit. What she does is she takes the lip liner, puts it in the center, that can you see draws a line straight down then takes it again and you can kind of see your lips kind of do this naturally so I sort of have a natural indent right here and right here you kind of find those natural indents when they naturally shadow and you're gonna accentuate those with the lip liner so I'm gonna draw a line right here Other side too so you kind of have these interesting outline section of your lips 
don't worry, you're not gonna keep it like that. Next thing she does though, is to make the bottom lip look a lot bigger. She'll start, take her lip liner and just do inside. What she does, she doesn't go all the way in. So she kind of just goes on the outside right there, but doesn't finish it, if you can see that, okay? So that'll really make your bottom lip look a lot bigger. And then I'm just gonna kind of fill in a little bit of these areas. And then what I'm gonna do is I love taking um, a lip gloss to put over this as well. So I'm gonna find the perfect lip gloss. Yeah, it's great for so this is from my mom um my mom actually had her own makeup line that was like i don't know i don't even know how to explain it but all the proceeds went to um women in need of shelter and of food and that kind of stuff so this is just a beautiful goldy shimmery pink color take your best kind of matching sort of lip gloss and just We don't want to mess up the lip liner too much. See how that looks. You are done is the finished look you have your kind of contoured eyes a little bit your small little wings and then your trick secret little trick to make your lips look even bigger <laughs> paint some plant pots because I am bored. Please give this a like, um, make sure you follow. I'll be having a ton of new videos. Um, my next makeup video is gonna be sustainable makeup that is cheap that you can buy and kind of what my review of it is. All right, bye guys. Hey, you won't let me be.